Hello folks, welcome back to New Cats on the Block. We got more cats on these blocks, uh, or more games rather. Uh, we are following up our loss to Penn State, our fourth straight loss uh, of the series here as we drop to three and seven. This has to be rock bottom. I pray to God that it's rock bottom, because I think I'll lose my job if I lose another game. So we desperately need uh, a win, and I don't know if we're going to get it <laughs> against the 10th ranked team in the nation, uh, the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, this is one of the downsides I knew that we would have uh, doing a, a dynasty in a Power 5 conference, specifically the Big Ten, because the Big Ten is loaded with programs like Michigan that, uh, even on a down year, bro, are still going to probably kick the snot out of us every single year. So, um I'm holding up hope that we can do something today because we desperately need to do something. Uh, I haven't even looked at my coaching report card uh, when I recorded these, so I, I probably had like a D minus. <laughs> like it's just like the AD is just like, dude, you gotta do something, bud. Uh, but looking at Michigan's season here so far, uh, they beat Central Michigan and Houston in convincing fashion. Their only loss, uh, well, they lose to Notre Dame, who of course is ranked here, uh, and they would bounce back. Uh, winning in convincing fashion. They would also lose to Minnesota, who we did beat. So those are uh, Michigan's only two losses of the year. They won the rivalry game against Michigan State, 41-6. to Jeez, but Michigan State's always bad at these. So coming into this game here, uh, I guess our tail of the tape here with Michigan. And, uh, oh, you see we get the broadcast here. We're regional, boys. We're on, we're on local television. They decided to put Michigan on local television. I guess that's the perk of playing a ranked team here. As we get to be on TV a little bit, you guys get to see the opening cinematics. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, we're at three and seven. It's not a, a good look, but uh, it's okay. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, Michigan comes in this game. They are second in the conference, of course, behind Ohio State, who's got a, a two-game lead here. They may, they may as well have clinched the Big Ten title at this point, uh, with only a couple games left in the season. Uh, but of course, Michigan has to still play Ohio State to close their season. So who knows how that goes? Um, but at this moment in time here, the Michigan Wolverine program uh, is kind of in the throes, or kind of towards the, the end of the Lloyd Carr era, uh, which was probably their most dominant era of football, uh, at least, uh, you know, historically. Um, they would win the national title in 97, uh, and of course win the Big Ten a few more times during Lloyd Carr's tenure, including uh, this year and the following year. Um, and making big plays. So they're 8-2 and two currently, and they would actually finish 10-3 in kickoff. real life uh, and lose the Rose Bowl. So I don't think they're going to do that this year, but <laughs> um, uh, the Michigan's still probably on pace to have a fairly decent season uh, and uh, on pace to really ruin our day today because we already have an injury on the kickoff. So we're falling apart. We're falling apart, guys. We're just limping our way across the finish line. Can we please win? Can we please get a game? As uh, the quarterback's going to drop back and the pressure is on, but he floats it one out to the running back, number 23, who falls up and in. Uh, he's just a little bit faster than our defender was and was able to find the opening to get that ball. Um, even under pressure, that pass was still on the money, dropped it in the basket. So first and ten for Michigan. They're already in Wildcat territory. Not looking good as they go for the handoff here. And number 23 just shakes off our linebacker, bro. Like he wasn't even there. He said, what defender? Who tried to touch me? Was that a fly? As he cuts up field and uh, turns that run play into something else to get a first down. So Michigan's moving the ball here. Two plays, two first downs. That's that's probably going to be the story today. Uh, and Santa right there in, in the pocket. And he still doesn't make a clean throw as he finds our linebacker, number 41, who just stands in front of the receiver and hauls that one in. And he thought, I guess he must have thought he had the opening there, but he really didn't. So, first and ten now uh, for the Wildcats heading the other way. And we're going to try and go with the ground game. And, of course, the ground game is not going to work out against a team like this. So, second and eleven now. We have number 14 back in the game. We tried to start as many quarterbacks as we could last game, but it really didn't work out. And we somehow find number nine's hands in that mess of Wolverine players. I mean, I guess that's why I had to bench 14. It's just because of all those dangerous throws and picks that I'm essentially making. But. So I get to blame the, uh, the quarterback. Okay, I think that's fair. <laughs> we try and find the running back out of the backfield on the next play. Who has to come back and make that catch. And uh, there's not much to do. There's not a whole lot of room to operate. But thanks to that deep ball, we do have... Uh, 
uh, a good opportunity here in Michigan territory. So second and eight now. We're going to go through the air again, or at least try to. We have uh, a receiver breaking out towards the right side. Uh, we find number one along the sideline, and uh, I don't think we've called his number hardly at all this year. So he gets a big uh, reception for us to give us a goal-to-go situation about the 10-yard line. We're going to go with the ground game, and number 18 works it upfield uh, and, and, and gets uh, a nice tackle. Uh, to fall forward so we're at about the six or seven yard line now we're going to try and throw this one through the air for a touchdown and we find number 80 across the middle who just has enough of his body in pay dirt uh, to get that one good to go for six and uh, we do send the extra point through to take a seven nothing lead over the wolverines early in this football game so we finally snap our scoreless streak of, of uh, I mean, I don't know how many quarters. When's the last time we scored points? <laughs> Did we score points in the third or fourth quarter in the Purdue game? I, I don't remember. Uh, but we didn't score at all last game, so we've already broken at least a four-quarter scoreless streak here. And we have some life here against this Michigan Wolverine football team. So first and ten for the Wolverines on their next drive, a chance to answer back. And their quarterback scrambles right into the pressure, and he gets brought down by our big D lineman. Number 16 had zero pocket awareness. He just stepped right into that one. So it's second and 14 now uh, for the Michigan Wolverines. Way deep in their own territory. They're going to go with the pitcher, number 23. Our linebacker just standing there, ready to make that open field tackle. And he absolutely knocks that ball. It knocks the rock right out of 23's hands. But uh, fortunately, Michigan is able to stay uh, with the ball to fall right on it. So it's third and very, very long now. And they got to get something going. And they find the tight end who cuts up field, breaks a tackle. Can he get the first down? He gets brought down close to the marker. And I think Lloyd Carr's reaction seems to tell us that I think they've got it. And that is a humongous call. Collapse uh, to have here for our defense, man. We had that play dead to rights, probably the line of scrimmage, and they somehow turned that into a 17 yard gain for a first down. So Michigan will continue with the football moving upfield. So on second and short, uh, they're going to go with the fullback now, who seemed to have an opening, uh, but he gets caught on, the, on a defender, I think, on the ground. And uh, that's going to stop his momentum. So it's third and inches. Can we finally get Michigan off the field? We send the kitchen sink. The pressure gets to the quarterback, but he has enough time to find an open man. Uh, and it looks like he maybe got one foot down, a toe drag, and that's all you need in college. So that's going to be another first down for the Michigan Wolverines. And they're finally operating in Northwestern territory. We get some pressure again. The pocket's collapsing a bit, but it doesn't matter because number 16 finds his man uh, along the sideline on the left side of the field. That is tight end number 88 who hauls that one in. If we can get to the quarterback and force some costly mistakes, man, he might throw us another uh, another pick. He might lay us one up. Uh, but that's going to end the first quarter. Uh, our 7 nothing lead holds strong over number 10-ranked Michigan, man. I don't, I'm not going to say anything. But I'm just keep the upset alert close by. Just keep it close by. <laughs> first and 10 now for Michigan. They're going to let the play block wind all the way down as they try and go to the running back. It looks like he was maybe going to try and throw that one back, maybe like a, a halfback pass or something, but uh, he gets contained before he can uh, release the ball. So that's going to be a huge loss for Michigan. Uh, it's second and 16 now. He's going to drop back, and he finds his man across the middle. It's tight end number 88 who had the uh, the nice grab a couple plays ago, but that one just plops right out of his hands. So third and 17 now for Michigan. This drive seems to be falling apart right in front of their very eyes, and they Again, another drop ball, and these Michigan receivers did not bring their A game, uh, as uh, that one just it, well, hits them right in the gloves, uh, but nothing doing. So they're going to bring out the field goal kicking unit here to try and get this one, but they're going to go for the fake. They're going with the fake, and they actually had a man there. I think he probably could have hauled that one in, but the pass just wasn't on target. But I mean, dude, that was that was there, and if that's number is that Chad Henney? <laughs> is that who that is? Trying to make that pass? I mean, that's on brand, if we're being honest. Uh, but he misses that one. That one sails into the dirt, so... Michigan with an opportunity to get three points. That would have been a deep field goal if they would have made that. Uh, but they had an opportunity for some points there to maybe cut the lead uh, just about in half. But uh, instead they tried to go for the trick plays here. Lloyd Carr thought he was slick, and that didn't work out. So now we have this ball going the other way. Uh, close to midfield, but we're already facing a third and ten situation. Can we get something going as we find number two across the middle? It looks like Michigan was in zone coverage right there. They didn't see number two. It was kind of drifting towards the sideline. So we were able to uh, wait a little bit and let that play develop a bit more and find our open man. So right around midfield, we're at about the 44, 45 yard line, uh, or excuse me, the 48 or 49 yard line. Um, and we try and find number one again, uh, but he is well covered, and that was a dangerous pass to throw. Fortunately, that one just falls to the grass, and we'll have a uh, another day to live. 
with this offensive possession. So second and 10 now. We're going to go with play action, go with a, a little fancy pitch here. We're going to try and redirect uh, because there's nothing doing on the right side of the field. But uh, Michigan is, is all over that play, and uh, we cannot extend it any further. So third and nine right here at midfield. What can we do to keep the drive alive? We're going to drop way, way back, and we're going to float this one out. Uh, to believe that was number nine, uh, who really didn't have an opening there. I thought maybe he could uh, beat out those defenders, but there was a few of them there, so that one doesn't work. And now we have a yellow hanky here, and it looks like we got a false start on the Wolverines, so the mistakes just keep piling here. This seems to be their game to win. Uh, I mean, honestly, man, this is an easy one. This is win number nine on the season for the, for the Wolverines, but uh, they, are, they are fumbling in every which way they can. So first and 15 now, uh, deep in their own territory for the Wolverines. They're going to drop back now, and it looks like a screen pass that doesn't, uh, doesn't really seem to have developed, but we can't put any pressure on the quarterback. What a weird play. That was clearly supposed to be a screen Play, uh, a screen pass, but uh, we got no separation on the line, so we had all day to just wait for a play to develop. But fortunately, we had a defender back to make a spectacular play, spectacular deflection to uh, to knock that one away. So Michigan's going to go for a deep ball again. That one sailed way out of bounds. Uh, it looks like he might have had his man open there if he was on target, but uh, yeah, that one that one goes a few yards out of bounds. So we're going to try for the deep ball yet again, and again he overthrows his man. Uh, our man was actually in a position to make that catch, but uh, he just goes for the deflection, which is fine because that'll give us the ball back uh, with pretty good field position to try and extend our lead. We roll into that uh, into that coverage, but into that pressure rather, but we were able to get rid of the football. A dangerous pass by our quarterback, but he does find the tight end along the sideline who makes the catch and uh, cuts up field here, just narrowly beats out the defender uh, by about an inch, man. He doesn't have that speed, so number 21 was able to catch up, but it doesn't matter because we, uh, we, we get uh, a good gain here on the play. We are now working deep in Wolverine territory. We're going to drop back again, and the pressure's on again, but we just barely get that ball to number two. Uh, that one was so close to being picked off. Or just being picked by the defense, rather, just red. Uh, but we were able to squeeze that one in the window. So it's first and goal now from about the nine uh, for the Wildcats. And we have an opportunity here to add another six points. We thought that went out to the tight end again, who has the catch uh, and gets us about uh, four or five yards on the game, on, on the game here. So... It's second and goal. We're working close here to the end zone. Can we add some points? We're going to pitch this one out to the running back. There's nothing going on. We try to redirect. We try to avoid uh, everyone we don't want to touch, but uh, Michigan has that play contained. We still struggle to run the football for yet another week. So third and goal. Michigan's going to send some pressure. We're going to roll out and find the tight end, who is the MVP for this drive, man. He kept us going as he hauls that one in and steps into the end zone for another six points. And now, ladies and gentlemen, don't look now, but we got a 14 nothing lead over this, over this Michigan Wolverine football team with a minute and a half left to go in the first half. Again, I'm not telling you nothing about upset alert. Just, you know, keep it close. Just keep it on your phone. Keep watching it, you know? We're going to give Michigan another opportunity with the football to uh, to end the first half, potentially, uh, unless they have another blunder of an offensive drive to get the ball back. But they have a minute and a half to operate here. They don't get that great of a return. They're going to send a man in motion. What's going to go on? What's going to happen? They'll let the play clock wind. Uh, number 16 is going to drop back and look over his options. He's got a clean pocket to make a play, and he still sails that one out of bounds to our bench. As much as I would love for him to throw another pick, I would prefer he throw it to someone who is actually in the game playing and not our guys on the bench. Bench. Please and thank you. We're going to go with play uh, play action here and uh, look over his options. And again, another deep ball, and he's got his man, but he makes that catch on the chalk. So, not, uh, not, not good. <laughs> uh, their quarterback's really off target, man. He's got the arm. He's got a freaking cannon, but uh, he's got none of the accuracy, so... Michigan's going to go with the ground game, and their fullback doesn't get a lot of yards, but we do have another yellow hanky on the field, and it looks like somebody went a little bit, a little bit low. The left tackle here uh, commits a clipping call, so Michigan will not only have that uh, uh, that gain erased, but uh, they're going to have to pump this one away. So the pressure's on. We just barely get rid of that football. There was nothing open. We went across our body and somehow barely got rid of it, but uh, we avoid that sag, which is important. So with a minute left, can we add to our lead here at second and ten, and the pressure finally gets to number 14. Michigan has been sending a lot of pressure so far this game. We've been taking a lot of time, dropping way, way back to try and avoid it, but finally we cannot avoid it, and we drop way back, lose a good bit of yardage. So it's third and 23, which is 20 seconds. Can we get something going here? We try and go for a deep ball. And look at there. We got number 80. He hauls that one in. 
with 13 seconds, we're gonna call timeout. Maybe we could, uh, maybe we can knock this one through here and get and get some extra points, man. What do you think? Taking a 17 nothing lead over Michigan here, but uh, we're gonna keep the offense here and maybe take one more shot at the offense. What we can do? And we throw an interception. And he shakes a man off, and he's got no one in front of him. We only got number 14 in pursuit, but he does not have the speed. He cannot outrun this linebacker. There's no one in front, and the clock's going to hit triple zeros. It's number two is in pursuit, but it doesn't matter because that is a pick six for the Michigan Wolverines. And again, for what, the third, fourth, fifth straight week in a row, I swear to God, at the end of the first half, we somehow have a meltdown and give up points, give up a huge costly play. On a drive that could have seen us extend our lead to 17, Michigan turns it around for a pick six off a big linebacker, man. It wasn't even one of their faster cornerbacks. It was a linebacker who just shook off a tackle or two and found the room to get back to the end zone. So that is upsetting, to say the least. But uh, we still do have a seven-point lead over Michigan. No lead is safe, uh, especially with how terrible our offense is. So we're going to need to play pretty smart football in the second half here. And that is not smart football as we're putting the rock on the ground and now there's a flag on the field. From bad to worse, I swear, man. From bad to worse. So, and it's a holding call. Man, oh, man. So not only is our running back putting my football on the grass, but we also got our linemen grabbing too much of the jersey here. I know this uh, Michigan D line, bro, is probably pretty tough, but we can't be we can't be committing grievances like this. So now we are snapping the ball, trying to get it out of our own end zone. That was a humongously dangerous play. We barely got rid of the football. We were standing right in the end zone, and that one's nearly picked off. So second and 19, can we get anything going here? The pressure's coming yet again. We roll out, and somehow we find number one. That one might have been tipped. I have no idea. I don't even know how number one caught that ball that was great defense by michigan here but we uh, we fortunately get that gain so it's third and three what can we do we're gonna go with the ground game go with the fullback and he gets spun out and we cannot pick up the rest of what we need so the roller coaster of emotions that was this drive to come out of the first half uh ends up as a failure for us we're gonna have to get this ball back to the michigan wolverines so they're gonna float that one out to the tight end who has that one brought in at uh, the michigan 45 yard line by the looks of it so Another first down for the Wolverines as they inch closer to midfield. Uh, what can they do now is they go with the fake handoff. They're going to float this one out to uh, number nine, who was open. He had a, a, a little half step here on our defense, but uh, again, not on target. Is number 16, so it's going to bring up second and 10 for the Wolverines at the 45-yard line. We're going to go with another fake handoff, play action here. The pressure's getting to the quarterback, but he dumps this one off to number 27, who's just sitting there waiting for it. Uh, but we also had a defender who was sitting there waiting for it. So we make a pretty nice play there. And uh, it's a it's third down situation. They're going to go to running back, and he cannot set the edge and is brought down at midfield. So that will force another fourth down for the Michigan Wolverine uh, football team. So we get the ball back now, uh, heading the other way. And the, the pressure gets to us, but we find number one again. We float it out to him because why not, man? He is our guy. He is our dude. Let's see what the call is. He's certainly the dude for today anyway, but there's another flag, and it looks like a Wolverine maybe grabbed a little bit too much of the helmet. So add, him, add me another five yards. Throw me another five yards, please, I beg of you. Lloyd Carr can be as mad as he wants to. It does not matter because we have a first down, and we are moving the ball now on this Wolverine defense. So first and ten now. We're going to go with another handoff here, and this time Michigan has it one well covered. We didn't have anybody on the outside to really cover for us. Uh, so number three is able to get in the backfield and uh, limit that gain quite a bit. So... Second and 13 now. We're moving the wrong way. We got to move forward here. We got a clean pocket. We throw this one out to number one. Makes another catch, and there's our guy, number one. Number one in our hearts. It might have been long enough. I've just forgotten about who we spread this ball. Number one's our biggest contributor, I guess. Um, so on our next play, we're going to go through the air again. Now I'm going to go for a deep ball. Should not have went for a deep ball. <laughs> Throwing it in triple coverage is my specialty. Uh, I just I can't stop myself from doing it. I just love doing it. So second and ten, we're going to go with the ground game. And we we got some blocks missed. And Michigan is able to get back and penetrate and get to our running back. So now we're looking at third and 16. And things are not going well for us. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to try and float that one across the middle. And again, there's nothing but Wolverine in that direction. What do you think you see, number 14? What do you think you see? 
as that one falls safely to the dirt, fortunately. But Michigan's going to get another opportunity with the football. So, as I've said, no lead is safe, and we've basically wasted the entire third quarter off of some mind-numbingly stupid passes. But Michigan has not been able to really effectively move the ball either uh, as they get a, a nice little game there. But uh, they are still just short of the marker. So second and, and two, and uh, they're going to stick in shock and formation here and try and get this one moving through the air as that one is nearly picked off again. You think we were having a bad game. Number 16 just cannot seem to cleanly find an open man. We're going to send the kitchen sink here on third down, but they are able to flip it off to the running back, number 23, who makes the catch and picks up a first down for Michigan to keep their drive alive. I thought if we sent everybody, we could maybe contain their quarterback. They could make a terrible throw, or no throw at all, but uh, he's able to get rid of it, so... So but that will bring it close to the third the quarter. quarter. Uh, we three, still hold a seven-point lead following the pick six that we gave up seven. at the end of the first half. And hold your fours up because this is definitely going to be a big one here. Upset alert is officially on. Can the Michigan Wolverines come back? Can we get our fourth win of the season, our first win in five weeks? What's going to happen, folks? As number 16 floats someone out to a man who's not even in bounds. <laughs> Michigan. The out-of-bounds passes are rampant this game, man. I don't know what they're doing. So second and ten, he tries to float them out to the left side again, and number nine breaks a tackle, and he had a good block, man. Maybe with a little bit more speed and explosion of speed, he could have cut up field and just escaped um, number 29, but fortunately we do recover, and uh, we contain number nine from uh, potentially giving up a touchdown, really. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll let them have the first down. So they're just past midfield now in Wildcat territory. Another first and 10 for the Wolverine offense. Uh, the pocket is clean, and he makes a clean throw to number 88, the tight end, who falls that one in. Second and five now for the Wolverines. Uh, they're still moving the ball forward now. Uh, and, the, and in that time, the pocket does collapse. It looks like, I, I don't know, man. It looks like they shifted to the left there. Maybe there was another screen waiting. I, I have no idea. But uh, they don't really get the coverage that they that they hoped, or that number 16 hoped for. And uh, they get sacked. So it's third and ten. He's going to flip one out to number one. And it uh, looks like number 28 maybe made an early jump on the ball there. Wasn't there in time. His timing was all off. And so number one hauls that one in. And now Michigan is threatening, ladies and germs. They are threatening. They can they can do some damage here with enough time to throw. He floats that one out to number one again, or excuse me, number nine, who can't haul that one in. That one hits him in the gloves again, and he drops it. So number 16 is going to drop back, and he finds number 27, who scores. He just toe drags in the corner of the end zone, knocks off that pylon, and adds another six. So Michigan now has evened here, or pending the extra point, of course. They have now evened things between us. Is this going to be another race to the finish? Lord have mercy. I don't know if my heart can handle it. But they do knock that one through, and that kicker's going to celebrate because he just potentially gave Michigan a new lease on life here as uh, the game is now knotted at 14 apiece. That is the first offensive touchdown Michigan has scored today. So if I had made uh, a, a, a stupid mistake of that pick six at the end of the first half, then we would uh, we would be telling a different story here with this ball game. But now we have a tie game. So we're going to need to put on the perfect drive here with the last three minutes and 50 seconds of this game if we want to score and give Michigan zero time. Because we've seen what happens when we score and leave any time on the clock. Indiana made us pay for it. So we're going to need to play some smarter ball here. And right now in the first two plays in this drive, we are not doing it. A terrible run play followed up by a dangerous pass. That's what we love to do is dangerous passes. And that time we had an open man across the middle, number 80, but he cannot haul it in as that one's bobbled around. So I just, I, I've seen this before. I'm getting PTSD, man. <laughs> I'm getting PTSD. I've seen this breakdown before by this Wildcat team. So we have to, we have to hopefully contain Michigan's offense here, which seems like the impossible, bro. This is the number 10th ranked team in the nation, but we have to contain them if we want a chance to win the game. So number 16 takes way too long. It's way too close to the line of scrimmage, and it bites him. He keeps testing the stove to see how hot it is, and he just found out that it is boiling hot as he gets sacked. So it's third and 11. We have a chance to contain Michigan, but they have an open man, and number 16 sails it yet again. He finds the grass with that pass and not an open receiver for about the 10th time today. So we do get the ball back with just two minutes. So now we have an even more, uh, just better position to potentially burn the rest of the time on the clock here and maybe add some points to win the game. So 
I gotta be real smart here with how we manage our time. We just a minute and a half left to go. We got a long way to go. We find number nine across the middle, who hauls it in and gets brought down at about the 49 yard line. So now with just a minute and a half, we find ourselves threading at midfield. A solid play here by the offense. We gotta get something going. We haven't seen a whole lot of greatness at all today. And we need something here. We're going to roll out and let this play develop. And we float that one out and try to find number 80. And it looks like there might have been an opening there, but the pass was not on the money. So it's second and ten. We get a high snap here, but thankfully we have some coverage up front. And this time we do find number 80 across the middle who hauls it in and gives us another first down. And now we are cooking in Wolverine territory. We're inching closer and closer. We have a minute left. Can we get these points? Can we? We're going to drop way, way back and float that one out. And we had an open man, but that one hits off of his glove gloves and he's contained by the defender number 80 was right there again man we're trying to get that deep ball to him if he can just haul that in it's over with but with 53 seconds what can we do it's second and 10 we are at about the 35 yard line we're going to drop back and float this one out across the middle and i thought he was going to keep going i thought number two was going to run in front of that linebacker and just keep going but the linebacker jumped on that route and just kind of contained number two so we're going to try number two again across the middle and he does haul this one in but he is short by just a few inches, so it's fourth and inches. We've got 43 seconds, but we are threatening here. With the way the season is going, it does not matter. There is no field goal. There is no punt, bro. Bring out the offense. We're getting this first down. We go with the fullback, and he just barely gets what we need, and we have a first down, ladies and germs. 40 seconds now. Michigan's got to be sweating. they got to be in a panic as our offense is trying to assemble a potential game-winning, humongous upset, one of the biggest upsets in Big Ten history. Can we do it? First and 10 now, we're going to float. Michigan sends a lot of pressure, and they leave the backfield pretty empty and we find number nine open here he makes that play over number three and i don't know why he's talking all that smack because he's about to lose his team the game first and goal which is 15 seconds we're gonna give it to the running back he's got some room and he falls forward for a touchdown huge touchdown by number 18 he hasn't scored that many or put on that many yards but he finds the biggest possible opportunity in the 11th hour and adds us six more points against this Wolverine team with just 11 seconds left to play in the ball game. We're going to knock this one through and take a seven-point lead here with just 11 seconds, folks. I can't stress it enough, 11 seconds. Now, I thought I didn't leave enough time with Indiana, but they made me pay for it. Uh, surely 11 seconds is not enough time for Michigan to do something, right? Right? I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. But we're going to kick this one off here, and Michigan's going to burn some time off the clock just returning it up to the 20. They're not even going to get a good return off of it. So nine seconds now is all Michigan has left to try and win or tie this ball game. Number 16 is going to drop back and take his time, and he just narrowly gets rid of that one. He gets hit on the throw, so number one has to come back and make the catch, but he does get it, and now with the time hitting triple zeros, he lobs that one up deep, and we got men in position to block that one, and that is going nowhere, baby. Your Northwestern Wildcats have somehow upset the number 10th ranked team in the nation, the Michigan Wolverines, the 8-2, and two, make it 8-3 and three, Michigan Wolverines. Pull off the upset. I mean, man, I think we have the greatest games in this in this game. I think NCAA 04 might be the first game with the, the whole great game score or whatever. So this is probably going to be on there. But, man, we don't play that amazing of a game. I mean, all things considered, it's a pretty on-brand game for us. I guess Michigan just really played down to their competition. Our offense did outperform them. We did not run the ball well at all because that's typical. That's what we do. We don't run the ball here. Uh, we get to uh, number 16 three times in this game. That's a pretty big stat to focus on, sacking the quarterback three times. I think that was a huge uh, contributing factor to why we were able to win this ball game. Um, but, uh, yeah, we didn't make as many mistakes either. We only had that one pick, which, I mean, you know, I could have potentially lost the game if Michigan won because, I mean, they really only put up that one offensive touchdown. So, But uh, other than that, I think the mistakes were kept mostly to a minimum. Uh, our quarterback number 14 has a bounce back game after his terrible game with Penn State going 18 for 31 with 265 yards two touchdowns and one pick so as far as uh, rushing goes uh, we didn't get too much here I mean look at this dude one yard on nine attempts one yard I think he got all those yards back on that touchdown that he scored at the end I think that's because that, that was like a six or seven yard gain so that had to have gotten him all of his yards back we spread the ball quite a bit on the receiving end of things. There's a lot of guys who get involved, and that's that's just uh, it comes to the territory of the formation that we run. So uh, we had a few guys spread the love here with the picks as well, or just uh, the one pick, I think. Yeah, 
Uh, I'm just so used to being there being six turnovers a game, but uh, that's not the case. So, uh, following that, uh, Michigan now drops to 25. Uh, and I did send this again, so like this is like the following week. They so I don't know where they were the previous week. Uh, it says 10, so maybe they still stayed at 10. I don't think so. But um, uh, when I send it to our next game, they lost to Ohio State, so they lost the rivalry and dropped to 25. So they were eight and two. Uh, and now finish their season eight and four. So, and look at that. We make it on Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Our upset makes it to Sports Illustrated, baby. We're on the cover. Looky there. That's an accomplishment, man. Can I put that in my trophy case? <laughs> so, this next game that we have here against the Fighting Illini, our last game of year one. We, I mean, dude, this couldn't be a more even matchup between us. Look at this. We are 65. They're 66. We're both 4-7. and seven. They're coming into this game on a two-game losing streak. Uh, so this is a humongous game. And if you saw maybe in the flash when I went back to play game, uh, we're playing for the Sweet Sioux Axe, uh, our rivalry trophy. They got rivalry trophies in this game, and that's what we're going to be playing for. So we have an opportunity to get some hardware here in year one. So I hope to see you uh, in Champaign when we fight the Fighting Illini in a rivalry game to end the season.